Handling Stress and Anxiety God's Way Let's look at Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Martha and Mary were both followers of Jesus and had the privilege of hosting him in their home on several occasions. One day, news reached them that Jesus would be passing through their village, and they eagerly prepared to welcome him. Martha was a diligent and responsible woman. As soon as she heard about Jesus' visit, she started bustling around the house, cleaning, cooking, and making sure everything was in perfect order. The excitement and stress of hosting the Savior weighed heavily on her shoulders. She wanted to provide the best hospitality possible and make sure Jesus felt welcome and comfortable in their home. On the other hand, Mary had a different approach. Instead of joining Martha in her frenzy of preparations, she chose to sit at Jesus' feet, listening to his teachings with undivided attention and joy. She knew that being in his presence was the most important thing and that all other concerns could wait. As Martha continued to work tirelessly, she grew increasingly anxious and stressed. Seeing her sister sitting calmly at Jesus' feet while there was so much to be done, Martha couldn't contain herself any longer. She went to Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. Jesus looked at Martha with love and compassion and said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. With those words, Jesus gently reminded Martha that her stress and anxiety were unnecessary. He appreciated her hospitality, but he also valued the time spent in his presence, listening and learning from him. From that moment, Martha realized the wisdom in Jesus' words. She took a deep breath, left her worries behind, and joined Mary at Jesus' feet. She too experienced the peace that comes from being in the presence of the Savior, and her stress and anxiety melted away. This story of Martha and Mary teaches us an essential lesson about stress and anxiety. It reminds us that, while responsibilities and tasks are a natural part of life, we must not allow them to overwhelm us and distract us from what truly matters. Just like stress can have positive aspects when managed properly, our duties can be beneficial when done with the right mindset and priorities. Stress is a natural part of life, and when managed properly, it can actually have some positive aspects. Believe it or not, Stress adds variety and richness to our lives, preventing monotony and keeping us alert. But to truly understand stress and its impact, we must delve deeper into its nature and learn how to control and manage it effectively. When we think about stress, particularly in the workplace, it's not always a negative thing. While prolonged stress can have detrimental effects, stress in moderation can be beneficial. It keeps us on our toes, ensuring we stay safe and attentive. So, let's first define stress and gain a better understanding of it. Stress is essentially our body's response to changes, challenges, or stressors, encompassing physical, emotional, and intellectual reactions. It is how we handle and respond to these changes that determine whether stress becomes a virtue or a vice in our lives. Stress can either turn into distress and anxiety, lead to a mental breakdown, or serve as a memory and general booster, depending on our perception and the purpose we assign to it. 
Apart from its potential downsides, stress can also bring some benefits into our lives if managed properly and not allowed to linger. It can enhance our job performance by increasing our alertness, foster healthy relationships, improve memory, provide valuable lessons from past experiences, boost motivation, focus, and attention, promote resilience, and prepare us for future tasks. Stress can help us stay alert, ready to face whatever comes our way. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that stress can be harmful if not properly addressed. Excessive stress can lead to anxiety, panic, and detrimental effects on our overall health and well-being. Chronic stress, when prolonged due to ongoing stressors, can increase the risk of heart disease and weaken our immune system. To avoid the negative consequences of stress and embrace its potential benefits, we must ensure that our stress levels do not persist for extended periods. So how can we effectively manage and control stress? Firstly, we need to place our faith and trust in God and His promises. Incorporating the following stress control and management techniques will also prove invaluable. Set aside time for rest and rejuvenation. Maintain a healthy diet and nourish your body with good foods. Avoid procrastination and take proactive steps toward tasks. Engage in regular exercise to promote physical and mental well-being. Consider joining a faith-based community for support and encouragement. Make time to connect with family and friends, strengthening relationships. Practice forgiveness, releasing yourself from the burden of past mistakes. Learn to love and accept yourself, appreciating the unique person God created. Share love with others, cultivating a spirit of compassion and kindness. By incorporating these practices, we can overcome the negative effects of stress and harness its potential for our benefit. As Romans chapter 8, verse 28 reminds us. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. Now, let's explore what the Word of God says about stress and anxiety further. In Philippians chapter 4, from verses 6 to 7, we find these comforting words. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God doesn't want us to be overwhelmed by anxiety and worry. Instead, He invites us to bring all our concerns to Him in prayer and trust Him to provide. Stress often stems from a lack of faith and trust in God. As 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 affirms, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all, on Him, for He cares about you, with deepest affection, and watches over you very carefully. In Psalm 55 verse 22, we are encouraged to cast our burdens on the Lord, knowing that He will sustain and uphold us, preventing us from being shaken, slipping, or falling. In times of stress and anxiety, let us follow the example of Mary, choosing to spend time in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, trusting that God cares for us deeply and will sustain and uphold us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that every source of stress and tension in your life comes under divine judgment now. Anything that causes you to doubt and disregard God's word faces God's divine judgment at this very moment. I command the cessation of stress-induced pressure, tension, and distress in the lives of each listener, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Heavenly Father, for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray with gratitude. Amen.